The Kokori Conspiracy or Kokori Train Robbery or Kokori Case was a train robbery that took place between Kokori and, near Lucknow, on 9 August 1925 during the Indian independence movement against the British Indian government. The robbery was organised by the Hindustan Republican Association HRA. The robbery was conceived by Ram Prasad Bismil and Ashfaqullah Khan who belonged to the HRA, which later became the Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. This organization was established to carry out revolutionary activities against the British Empire in India with the objective of achieving independence. Since the organization needed money for purchase of weaponry, Bismil and his party decided to plunder a train on one of the Northern Railway lines. The robbery plan was executed by Ram Prasad Bismil, Ashfaqullah Khan, Rajendra Lahiri, Chandrasekhar Azad, Sachindra Bakshi, Kashab Chakravarti, Manmathnath Gupta, Marari Lal Gupta fake name of Marari Lal Khanna, Mukundi Lal, Mukundi Lal Gupta and Banwari Lal. One passenger was killed unintentionally. Robbery <inaudible> 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 On 9 August 1925, the number 8 down train travelling from Saharanpur to Lucknow was approaching the town of Kokori now in Uttar Pradesh, when one of the revolutionaries pulled the emergency chain to stop the train and subsequently overpowered the guard. It is believed that they looted that specific train because it was supposedly carrying money bags in the guard's cabin. The money bags allegedly belonged to India and was being transferred to the British government treasury. They looted only these bags containing some 8,000 rupees and escaped to Lucknow. The objectives of this robbery was to Fund the HRA with funds stolen from the British administration. Garner public attention by creating a positive image of the HRA among Indians. One passenger, Ahmed Ali was killed by an unintentional discharge, thus making it a manslaughter case. Following the incident, the British administration started an intense manhunt and arrested several of the revolutionaries involved in the HRA. Their leader, Ram Prasad Bismil, was arrested at Saharanpur on 26 September 1925, and his lieutenant, Ashfaqullah Khan, was arrested ten months later at Delhi. <laughs> Arrests Forty people were arrested from all over India. Their names with the place of arrest are From Agra Chandra Dar Jora Chandra Bhal Jora From Allahabad Shatala Sahai Jyoti Shankar Dixit Bupendra Nath Sanyal From Banaras Manmathnath Gupta Fanindra Nath Banerjee Damodar Swaroop Seth Ram Nath Pandey Dev Dat Bhattacharya Indra Vikram Singh Mukundi Lal From Bengal Sachindra Nath Sanyal Yogesh Chandra Chatterjee Rajendra Lahiri Sharat Chandra Guha Kali Das Bose From Edda Babu Ram Verma From Hardoi Bhairon Singh From Kanpur Ram Dulair Trivedi Gopi Mohan Raj Kumar Sinha Suresh Chandra Bhattacharya From Lahore Mohan Lal Gautam From Lakimpur Harnam Sundarlal From Lucknow Kavind Sharan Kar Shachindra Nath Vishvas From Mathura Shiv Sharan Lal Sharma Warrant was issued against him but he was not arrested because he fled to Pondicherry From Meerut Vishnu Shuran Dublish From Orai Veer Bhadra Tawari From Pune Ram Krishna Khatri From Raibareli Banwari Lal From Shahjananpur Ram Prasad Bismil Banarsi Lal Lala Har Govind Prem Krishna Khanna Indubushan Mitra Thakur Roshan Singh Ram Dutt Shukla Maiden Lal Ram Ratna Shukla Ashfaqula Khan From Pratapgar Sachindra Bakshi of the above, Shachindra Nath Sanyal, Rajendra Lahiri and Yogesh Chandra Chatterjee had already been arrested in Bengal. 
Lahiri was prosecuted in a Dakshineshwar bombing case, while Ashfaqullah Khan and Sachindra Bakshi were arrested later when the main Kokori conspiracy case was over. A supplementary case was filed against these two and they were prosecuted in the same manner. Kokori trial Ram Prasad Bismil and some others were charged with various offences, including robbery and murder. Fifteen people had been released due to lack of evidence and a further five had escaped, two of them — Ashfaqullah Khan and Sachindra Bakshi — were captured after the trial. Chandrasekhar Azad, reorganized the HRA in 1928 and operated it till 27 February 1931, the day he died in a heroic act in Allahabad. On the day, he was surrounded by police and after a long shootout, holding true to his pledge to never be captured alive, he shot himself dead with his last bullet on 27 February 1931 at Chandrasekhar Azad Park, Allahabad. Charges pressed against a further four men were dropped. Damodar Swaroop Seth was discharged due to illness, while Veer Bhadra Tiwari, Jyoti Shankar Dixit and Shiv Sharan Lal have been suspected of providing information to the authorities. Two other individuals, Banwari Lal and Indu Bhushan Mitra came to be approvers in return for a lenient sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Court's proceedings Charges against 15 of the accused were withdrawn. The trial against the remaining 28 began on 21 May 1926 in the Special Session Court of A. Hamilton. Abbas Salim Khan, Banwari Lal Bhargava, Gyan Chatterjee and Mode Ayuf were the assessors of the case. Of the 28, Sachindra Nath Sanyal, Jogesh Chandra Chatterjee and Rajendra Nath Lahiri were transported from where they had been held in Bengal. The court appointed Jagat Narayan Mullah as public prosecutor knowingly, he had been prejudiced against Ram Prasad Bismil since 1916, when Bismil led the grand procession of Bal Gangadhar Tilak at Lucknow. He had also been the public prosecutor in the Mainpuri conspiracy case of 1918. <laughs> Final verdict Following the arrest of Ashfaqullah Khan, the police coerced him to gain supplementary evidence against his accomplices but he refused. Another supplementary case was filed against Ashfaqullah Khan and Sachindra Bakshi in the Court of Special Sessions Judge J. R. W. Bennett. An appeal was filed in the then Chief Court of Oudh now in Uttar Pradesh on 18 July 1927. The punishments given were as follows. Death sentence, Ram Prasad Bismil, Thakur Roshan Singh, Rajendra Nath Lahiri and Ashfaqullah Khan Deportation to Kalapani, Port Blair Cellular Jail, Shachindra Nath Sanyal and Sachindra Bakshi 14 years imprisonment, Manmath Nath Gupta 10 years imprisonment, Yogesh Chandra Chatterjee, Mukundi Lal, Govid Sharan Kar, Raj Kumar Singh and Ram Krishna Khatri Seven years imprisonment, Vishnu Sharan Dublish, Suresh Sharan Bhattacharya. Five years imprisonment, Bhupen Nath Sanyal, Prem Krishna Sharma. Four years imprisonment, Kashab Chakravarthi. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hunger strike in the jail. After the court gave the final verdict, a group photograph was taken and all the accused were sent to the different jails of the United Province. In the prisons, they were asked to wear the uniform like the other prisoners which lead to immediate protests and hunger strikes. The revolutionaries argued that since they had been charged with crimes against the British rule and supposedly overturning the British Raj, they should be treated as political prisoners and thus should possess the rights and amenities provided to political prisoners. The details of their hunger strike are listed below. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Defense Committee. The legal defense for the arrested revolutionaries was provided by Gobind Balab Pant, Mohan Lal Saxena, Chandra Banu Gupta, Ajit Prasad Jain, Gopi Nath Srivastava, R M Bahadur G B K Chaudhary, and Kripa Shankar Hajela. Pandit Jagat Narayan Mullah, a leading advocate from Lucknow and brother-in-law of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru refused to defend the arrested revolutionaries. 
He was appointed as public prosecutor by the law of court. Among the political figures who came out in support of those arrested for the Kokori train robbery were, Mutalal Nehru, Maidan Mohan Malviya, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Lala Lajpat Rai, Jawaharlal Nehru, Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi, Shiv Prasad Gupta, Sri Prakash and Acharya Narendra Dev. Reaction in the country There were widespread protests against the court's decision all over the country. Members of the central legislature even petitioned the Viceroy of India to commute the death sentences given to the four men to life sentences. Appeals were also sent to the Privy Council and even to Mohandas K. Gandhi himself. However, these requests were turned down and the men were finally executed. Topic. Clemency appeal On the 22nd of August 1927, the chief court endorsed the original judgment with an exception of one or two punishments. A mercy appeal was filed in due course before the provincial governor of UP by the members of Legislative Council which was dismissed. Ram Prasad Bismil wrote a letter to Maidan Mohan Malviya on 9 September 1927 from Gorakhpur Jail. Malviya sent a memorandum to the then Viceroy and Governor-General of India Edward Frederick Lindley Wood with the signatures of 78 members of Central Legislature, which was also turned down. On 16 September 1927, the final mercy appeal was forwarded to Privy Council at London and to the King Emperor through a famous lawyer of England, S. L. Polak, but the British government, who had already decided to hang them, sent their final decision to the India Office of Viceroy that all the four condemned prisoners were to be hanged till death by 19 December 1927 positively. See also Sukhdev Thapar Rajguru